Hi, this is Jesse Liberty for Telerik. Today we're going to take a look at creating a thermometer using the RAD gauge control. This will allow us to get into a lot of advanced details using the RAD vertical linear gauge. We're going to create that with two scales, one for Celsius and one for Fahrenheit. The Celsius scale will run from negative 30 to 40 degrees. The Fahrenheit scale from negative 22 to 104 degrees. We'll have a text block that will set up as a custom text block to indicate which scale is on which side of the thermometer. And we're going to manage our tick marks so that we get appropriate tick marks for both scales. Let's start by creating a new application. We'll call it Rad Gauge Thermometer. Save that and save it as a Silverlight 5 application. And let's go ahead and click Data Visualization to get that reference as well as all its dependent references into the application. When Visual Studio settles down, we're ready to add our Telerik Rad Vertical Linear Gauge. That's going to be the main gauge that we're working with for the rest of this building of the thermometer. We'll set its width to 24 and its height to 327. There we have the outline of our gauge of our thermometer. Within that, we need to create our first scale, which is going to be our Celsius scale. Let's set our minimum as negative 30 and our maximum as 40. That's the temperature range that we're going to allow this thermometer to show. We'll set our relative Y at 0 0.05, just slightly up from the bottom. We'll set our relative height at 0 0.85. And our start and ending width at 1, which will keep this rectangular. No narrowing or widening of the gauge necessary. Now we have major ticks, middle ticks, and minor ticks. Major ticks are the largest of the ticks and they are the ones that can take a label. We're going to give them a relative width which will indicate how far out the tick will jut. We're going to set the location for our major ticks as over outside and that will give us the labels on the outside of the thermometer. Let's set the relative height of the major ticks and then we're on to the middle ticks. Middle ticks equal two means that we will have a middle tick in between each of the major ticks. We can also set the middle ticks relative width and height, the offset and where its location is in this case over outside again. Finally the minor ticks are the third level ticks. We're going to set that equal to one. They will not appear in this case. We are going to set the label offset to 0 0.2 and we'll set the label location as outside pushing the label fully outside of the thermometer. Our fill will be transparent as will our stroke also be transparent so that they do not show a color. And you can immediately see in the design surface the temperature major ticks and minor ticks for the Celsius scale. Let's create a custom item for our linear scale. And in that custom item, we're going to place a text block. We're going to use the Telerik scale object to set the relative X and Y position, setting the relative X position as negative 0.7 and setting the relative Y position to 0.95. We'll set the text to C for Celsius and put that that will be placed at the bottom of the scale. You can see that the resources we've added are using the Telerik Metro colors for our accent brush and our strong brush, as well as for our custom labels and custom scale colors, and also setting the font and font size. With that custom work in place, we are able to see the bulb of the thermometer at the bottom, and that used a path to draw that. Let's run that and see what that looks like. We have the beginnings of a thermometer with the Celsius scale and a bulb at the bottom with the mercury indicating a current temperature of negative 30 degrees Celsius. 
you're going to add a second linear scale for Fahrenheit. And you can see on the Fahrenheit scale that after we set the relative y and the relative height, our start and end width are 1. Our minimum is negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Our maximum is 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember that to go from Celsius to Fahrenheit, the formula that we need is to take the degrees in Celsius, multiply them by 9, divide that by 5, and subtract 32. The net result is that Fahrenheit has a much wider scale, and that's reflected in what we're putting into these the Fahrenheit scale here. Let's run that and see the two scales together. We have Celsius on the left, Fahrenheit on the right. I hope you've seen how you can use some of the more advanced features of the gauge control to create virtually any kind of gauge that you need for your application. For Telerik, this is Jesse Liberty, and I look forward to talking with you again soon.